Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world, welcome to Magdali Live School at Home Edition. Ah, namiss niyo ba ako? Pero wondering kung ba't ako na aganito dahil maraming mangyayari, syempre, sa pinakasikat na bahay sa Pilipinas. Kaya naghahanda na po ako. Kumusta po ang lahat? Simulan na natin ang ating, um, what do call this, lesson for the day. Last week, just a quick recap, no? Natutunan po natin mag-add at subtract ng fractions at ng mixed numbers. Naalala niyo pa ba kung paano gawin yan? Good job, no? Kung medyo nalilito pa kayo, huwag kayong mag-alala dahil sa ating website. At dito sa Knowledge Channel, channel, <laughs> pinaparamdam namin sa inyo. At talagang sinusubukan natin na kahit anong problema, may solusyon. Dahil easy plus syaga equals math dali. Ngayong araw, susubukan po natin um, mas hasain ang inyong mga addition skills sa pamamalengke. That is right. Sumasama ba kayo? Kina nanay at tatay tuwing namamalengke sila, lalong-lalo na nung panahon na wala pang COVID. Okay. As much as possible, no? Kung kaya naman online, online gamitin po natin. Maghanda na po tayo dahil ngayon, sasamahan po natin mamili ang kapatid ni Miss France Espanol na si Aling Baby. Ayan. Si Aling Baby po, may dala po siyang bayong na may 10 kilogram na capacity. Okay? Ang task natin ay siguraduhin ang timbang na mga bibili niya ay pasok sa ating limit. Unahin muna natin yung meat section. Ayan. Sabi dito sa listahan, kailangan niya ng karne ng baboy para sa lulutuin niyang sinigang. Uy, sarap yan. At manok naman para sa adobo. May tanong ako, anong tawag sa sinigang na manok? Meron bang sinigang na manok? Meron ba? Oh. Di ba? May sinigang na baboy. Sinigang na um, baka. Sarap. Favorite ko yan. Sinigang na bangus. May sinigang na manok ba? Actually, meron. Sinigang sa Sampalok, sinampalukang manok. Grabe, si Mela, favorite yan. Dami sa tarlac. Okay, unahin muna natin yung sa hmm, section. Kung bumili si Aling Baby sa suki niya ng 1 and 2 fourths kilogram ng pork belly and 1 and 3 fourths kilogram ng chicken, ano yung total na tinimbang at nabili natin karne? Let's add. Mix numbers yung binigay. Add muna natin yung whole numbers. 1 plus 1 is 2. Next yung fractions naman natin. May napapansin ba kayo? O, pareho yung denominator. Kaya similar fractions. Okay? Meron tayong 2 fourths and 3 fourths. Madaling madali na lang yan. When we're adding similar fractions, kailangan natin i-add yung numerators. 2 plus 3 is 5. We have 2 and 5 over 4 kilograms. Pero teka. Parang mahirap yata kiluhin yung 2 and 5 fourths ng kilogram. Medyo weird, no? Mas malaki yung 5 fourths. Mas malaki yung 5 kaysa sa yung numerator sa denominator. Ano yung napapansin nyo sa fraction part ng mixed number? Malaki yung numerator sa denominator. Ibig sabihin, isa itong improper fraction. Ano nga ba yung natutunan natin tungkol dito? Natutunan natin na ang improper fraction ay greater than 1 kasi nga ang fraction is equal to 1 kapag pareho ang numerator at denominator, di ba? Kung 4 over 4, whole na yan. Pero 5 over 4? Ha? Di ba? Nagamit natin yung mga nauna nating math lessons kasi connected yan lahat. Kailangan natin i-simplify ang improper fraction para mas madaling sukatin o i-quantify ang final answer. Tinatawag din itong regrouping, no? We can regroup the mixed number. 2 and 5 over 4 by simplifying its fractional part. At para magawa ito, kailangan natin i-divide ang numerator with the denominator. 5 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 1. Ang product ay magiging whole number at ang remainder ay magiging bago nating numerator. Kaya naman, ang simplified form nito ay 1 and 1 fourth si Garmel Tamposi. Pag ba? Nakuha na agad ang tawang sagot. Ngayon, balikan muna natin ang sum natin kanina. So, 2 and 5 over 4, di ba? And it will become 2 plus 
1 and 1 over 4. So, madaling madaling na lang yan. 2 plus 1 is 3. Copy 1 fourth. Ang total na tinimbang ni Aling Baby. That's my baby. Is 3 and 1 over 4 kilograms. Or 3 and uh, a quarter kilogram. Next! Okay. Madali lang itindihin yung mga pagre-recruit natin, di ba? Oh. Next on the list. Kung may karne, syempre, kailangan din natin ng prutas at gulay para balance yung diet natin. Nakakuha tayo ng 1 and 3 fifths kilogram ng sari-saring gulay and 2 and 2 thirds kilogram naman ng mga paboritong prutas ni Aling Baby. Gaano kabigat si Aling Baby? Nen, nen, joke lang, joke lang. Gaano kabigat? ang lahat ng ito. <laughs> okay, so we got 1 and 3 fifths plus 2 and 2 thirds. Sige nga, ano yung first step? Oh. Sabi ni Chi, mahirap intindihin pero madali si Robbie mahalin. Huwag ka namang... Baka ikaw gawin kong aling baby. <laughs> okay, syempre, ang unang step natin ay yung whole numbers muna natin. I-add natin silang dalawa. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Ano susunod? Add the fractional parts of the numbers. Pero teka, Kuya Robby, kanina, similar fractions. Kayang-kaya yan eh. Kasi pareho yung denominator ngayon. Anong gagawin natin? Magkaiba, 5 and 3. O. Oh. Kapag nag-add tayo ng dissimilar fractions, anong gagawin natin? Mm -hmm. Kailangan hanapin natin ang least common denominator ng dalawa. Dahil parehong prime number ang 5 at 3, pwede natin i-multiply ang mga ito sa isa't isa and then cross multiply. Okay. So, ang LCD na to ay 15. Dahil 5 times 3 is 15 and then cross multiply tayo. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 2 is 10. Tapos, 9 plus 10 is equal to 19. So, ang makukuha natin suma total ay 19 over 15. Improper fraction po yan. Anong ginagawa sa improper fraction? Okay. I-simplify natin. 19 divided by 15 is 1. Remainder 4, kaya ang simplified form nito ay 1 and 4 over 15. Nabalikan natin yung original problem natin, no? Let's start by adding the whole numbers. 3 plus 1 is 4. Diba? 4 and 4 over 15 kilograms ang nabiling gulay at rutas ni Aling Baby. Uh, yes, 4 over 15. Don't forget the kg kasi kailangan natin yung labels na yan. Okay? Ngayon, tingnan natin kung gaano kabigat ang lahat ng mga nakuha ni Aling Baby. Meron tayong 3 and 1 fourth kilogram karne. And 4 and 4 over 15 na kilogram ng Kaya po yung Robby, malayo na naman yung ah uh, denominator sino magkakaiba pero ayang kaya yan you know the drill nag freeze po ba ako ay okay na okay na tandaan nyo yung karne tsaka yung ibang mga hindi pala yung karne yung freezer talaga yan okay yung mga gulay sa chiller tsaka yung mga fruits okay 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 now let's compare the denominators we have the similar fractions kaya we need to find their LCD. Pero tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, pwede na natin i-multiply denominators then do cross multiplication. 4 times 15 is 60. 60 yung denominator na natin. 1 times 15, 15. Uh, and then, we've got 4 times 4 is 16. And then, 16 plus 15 is 31. So, ang final answer po natin is, yan yeah, no? 7 and 31 over 60 kilograms. Galing. Galing ng ating mga kapamilya, mga students natin, mga classmates natin. Good job. Ano na yung task natin? Kailangan hindi lumagpas sa 10 kilogram limit ang bayong 
yung mga napamili ni Aling Baby dahil ang total weight ng mga napalengke ay 7 and 13, 31 over 60 kilograms. Pasok na pasok. Hindi mabubutas yung bayong. Hindi masyado mabibigatan si Aling Baby. Good job, no? Na totoo lang, medyo nakakalito sa umpisa. Pero pag nakuha niya na na-analyze siya ng mabuti, madali lang yan. Naniniwala ako sa inyo. Kaya naman, ngayon, Agad-agad, it's time for our Math Dali Quiz Time. Ito, dalian muna natin. True or false? We got this equation right here. 6 and 4 eighths to 7 eighths equals 9 and 3 eighths. Tama ba yan? 20 seconds to analyze and answer. Go. I'll answer with you. So, mental math natin, okay? 6 plus 2 equals 8. 4 plus 7 is equal to, ilan yan? Huh? 11. 11 over 8. 11 divided by 8 is 1 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 3. Oh. Time is up. What is your answer? Si Clarissa said false. Um, Ivy says false. Mappy says trot. Daimar says trot. Correct answer is trot. Okay. <laughs> Check natin. 6 plus uh, 6 and 4 eighths plus 2 and 7 eighths. Whole numbers muna. 6 plus 2 is 8. Next fraction natin, we got um, 4 plus 7 equal to 11, giving us an improper fraction. And then we have this. Okay. We simplify by regrouping 11 over 8. 11 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 3. Kaya ang sagot po natin, we add po natin yung 1 sa 8. Ah, we add po natin. Ah, tama. Add 1 sa 8 becomes 9 and 3 over 8. Good job. Okay. Marami pa tayo oras. Let's try sa question number 2. What is 3 and 5 over 10 plus 2 and 9 over 10? Please simplify your answer 20 seconds. Go. <laughs> ano to? Go. Sasamahan ko kayo. Sasamahan kita. Okay. 3 plus 2 plus 5. 5 plus 9 is 14 over 10. So, we got 1, 4 over 10. Okay? So, 6 and 4 over 10. And then, 4 over 10. Pwede pa natin simplify yan. My answer is 6 and 2 fifths. Tama ba? Ang sagot nyo? Nico Milan says 6 and 4, 10. People are saying 5 and 14 over 10. Well, actually, you're correct, no? Pero we need the simplified form. So the correct answer is 6 and 2 fifths. Okay? 6 and 2 fifths. Good job. Kay Madeline, pati kay Pat. Uh, Diamond says, mahirap. Hindi kang mag-alala dito. Hindi naman ma mahirap eh. Diba? Walang mahirap. It's math the leak. Kaya-kaya. Let's move on to question number three. Migs, I invite you to answer this one. Si Aling Baby, balikan natin. Nagutom si Aling Baby sa pamamalengke kaya bumili siya ng bibingka. Kung naubos or nakaubos siya ng one and three fourths at two thirds na slices ng bibingka, gaano karami yung nakain niya? Let me repeat the question. Huh? Nagutom si Aling Baby sa pamaleke kaya bumili siya ng bibingka. Okay? Kung nakaubo siya ng 1 and 3 fourths at 2 thirds na slices ng bibingka, gaano karami yung nakain niya? So we have to add, I guess, 20 seconds. Go. Ah, tama. Therefore, ang takaw ni Aling Baby. Ang dami niyang kinain. Hmm. So we got improper fractions. Yep. Na makakuha. Yes. Um, dissimilar fractions. What do we do? Let's multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. 9 plus 8 is 17 over 12. Oh. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is... Letter 
C. <laughs> letter C. Let's check. Actually, may, sumas- may sumasagot ng letter B. I feel it's correct, pero hindi pa simplified yung form. So, let's check muna. One plus... One and three-fourths plus two-thirds. Dahil isa lang yung whole number, let's proceed to adding the fractions. Kumamit tayo ng cross-multiplication to find the LCD. Four times three is 12. Three times three is nine. Four times two is eight. Nine plus eight is 17. So we get 17 over 12. So mga sumagot ng letter B, okay na sana. Sana. Pero kulang pa. Yung proper fraction, kailangan natin i-regroup. 17 divided by 12 is 1 remainder 5. So we get 1 and 5 over 12 plus 1 from our given. So the final answer natin, letter C. Good job. Garmel Tamposi. Maraming salamat for the halo halo shower. Okay. And then we got our last question right here on the dot. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Last question. Kailangan nyo kaya, kaya nyo rin. Hmm. Add and then simplify this equation. We got 4 over 3 fifths and 5 over 2 fourths. You got 20 seconds to go. Hmm. So you got to Bella Chow. Hmm. So 4 plus 5 equals 9. Tama. And then we got this the similar fraction. Huh. What do we get? We get this final answer. The final answer is 10 and 1 over 10. Paano natin nakuha yun? Oh, sige nga. Let's um, analyze this one. 4 and 3 fifths plus 5 and 2 fourths. Let's go with whole numbers first. 4 plus 5 is 9. Now let's get the LCD of the fractions. LCD ng 4, 4 and 5 I. 20. These common den- denominator niya. Yes. 3 times 4 is 12. Maka cross multiply na tayo. 5 times 2 is 10. Now, we add. It's dial similar fractions na siya. 12 plus 10 is 22. So, we get 22 over 20. Or, you simplify na natin. Let's divide everything by 2. 11 over 10. And now, we regroup. 11 divided by 10 is 1 remainder 1. Now, 1 and 1 tenth plus 9 is equal to 10 and 1 over 10. We got it. Lahat naman ako na tamang sagot. Maraming maraming salamat. I can't believe we are 3,000 right here. This is Conquer. No? Yep. Thank you for all the love and support na binigay niya sa ating programa. Tandaan niya lahat ng mga diamonds na nakuha po natin is for the use ng ating mga future use actually ng Knowledge Channel. And also, um, I feel and I know part of the donations will be for the ed- educational. I think that's what Knowledge Channel is doing right now sa lahat ng mga naapektuhan ng bagyong audit. Eh, gagamitin po yung ibang mga funds para sa educational purposes naman ng mga kabataan Pinoy. And I am one with that one. So sa lahat ng mga nakatutok, maraming maraming salamat. And next week, don't worry, dahil we got more lessons just for you. Ako po, si Pear Robbie, on behalf of the family right here ng Math Delete, we say thank you and we will see you next week. Tandaan, easy plus saga equals Math Delete. But too much.